Uh, I, I guess, who do you want to start as? Start as Joe or Charlie? I'll choose the opposite. Uh, okay, so... Okay, I'll do Joe. Alright, I'm ready. Hopefully. Uh, I do hear a weird buzzing sound. Is that your it might be my PS4 fan. <laughs> but um that's kinda strange because it's not active right now. One moment. My mic is haunted. <laughs> I, I, there's nothing that would make that sound. That's all. It's kind of strange. Is it like a loud buzzing? Because I can always switch back if it's too loud. Uh, for a bit there it was loud, but it's disappearing on and off now. Okay. Because if it gets too loud, I'll, I'll swap. But. Hello, welcome to the stream. We're all gonna die, that's our future. Dragon tire and bamboo tile. Wait, how do I? Oh, okay. This one. Press and hold to examine. I see. I guess. Uh, I'm done with mine already. Okay. Yeah, that explains that. So I use this to punch.
they're getting faster. Ah, I don't I missed one. Okay, because I just asked about my son, about being either curious or like how my fortune would be. So I asked about my son, and then I picked up the dragon tile. Whatever that means. <laughs> well, if my other option was, uh, well, you could be back in those two corners. Ooh. I don't That's think I'll get my two corners back. <laughs> Probably not. It's cool that we got different, like, uh, things too to decide. There's the 50 cents you're referring to. Wait, why did I get punched? <laughs> Wait, why did I get punched? <laughs> and I'm going to the medical ward. <laughs> Interesting turn of events. Quite. Alright, while this is floating, I'm going to try something else with the mic, just to make sure. It's oozing. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. I mean, Resident, Re Re Resident Evil Revelations One was on a ship. All right, so I'm waking up in the medical wing ward. Oh, since I chose the the kid option, I'm getting a picture. I'm hearing gunfire at my end. I think I'm hearing PTSD. <laughs> hey, Don. I'm streaming Man and Madonna right now, so. Darn it! Okay, so, uh, how bad was it? Because I might have to swap to my other mic then. Okay. Because it's, it's nothing... It must be the mic, because there's nothing here that would make that sound. Yeah, it Two must pops. be some type of interference or... Yeah. I got sentenced to ten days of break. I looked at the picture of my son. I love that it's like we're two different characters, so... Oh god! Okay, dead body. Hi. <laughs> I open a locker and I find a corpse. <laughs> Okay, I picked up a key. Picked up a key just here? Yeah. The uh, dead guy. Okay. 
Oh, hi, oh, super. Right oh, hello, super dead guy. Because if it's not uh, the the sound isn't too bad, then I might keep with this mic. Otherwise, I'm gonna swap to my other one. Is there anything else in this? Okay, I'll try the door on my medical ward. I unlocked it with the key. Hello? <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> anyone alive? <laughs> I'm getting Resident Evil Revelation vibes. Is anyone living in here? Yeah, the doctor. <laughs> I'm starting to hear an echo from you, Ton. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll check it. Can I look at the letter, please? Oh, oh, I see. You're uh. Right up. Huh. Oh, there's the dead body. Okay, and uh, the key was only for the lock for me. I didn't find like this this safe key. Probably. Oh, there's your picture of your son. Right. <laughs> I normally don't mind uh, a ton, but since this is kind of a horror related thing, I might have to mute you to serve it. <laughs> I'm just gonna meet you just for a bit. This is, I wanna focus on this. So, I'll be right back. Oh, never mind. Hi. Uh, wait. Press X in time with a heartbeat. What heartbeat? Search has gone crazy. Alright, so, uh, Tana, I will have to meet you for just for the time being, so. At least on my end, because I am streaming as well. Hey, the, I can pause the game like that? <gasps> That's cool. Alright, I'm ready. Uh, I guess onwards? <laughs> What's going on in this ship? Nope, it's locked. I can't go where the guy was shooting. Okay.
Oh, mother trucker. That actually got me. <laughs> A kid running by. Oh, you're seeing shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going crazy, Carl. I'm going crazy. Anything in that door? Nope, it's locked. Okay, I kind of expected that, so. Gotta start finding the dead bodies sooner or later. Yep. Sprung a couple weeks in his backside there. Just a bit. Also, uh, am I seeing the same floor as you? Uh, what, the floor red? Yeah. Yep, the floor is red. Goody. Goody. <laughs> But his eyes are white. Like, completely white. I think they rolled into the back of his head. I think like so. He had some weird seizure. Yeah, some sort of fit, because he's locked in some sort of like death grip. Oh, yeah, go to that door behind us there. Okay. Oh, we're going down. Yeah, cause why are we- why is the camera angle beneath the stairs? <laughs> Hold L1 to walk faster. Wait, why do we need to learn that? <laughs> uh, I have no idea, I was just following you. Uh, I guess we'll go the other. The, I see the mist, but that's about it. I, I don't see that. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> We're going crazy. Which one is the ones? I think. Oh, I kind of oh hi. Yeah, I keep seeing a kid run past me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> probably. I'm probably going to see you as a dead body. I'm probably going to have to murder you, and you're probably not actually a dead body. <laughs> Speaking of dead bodies. Please don't have a mind if we start attacking everything. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> whatever you do, don't shoot me. Yep. You get a knife. I think I'm starting to see what might be going on here. Just a bit. Oh, I saw another kid running right by. Yeah, um, simply because I um, hear also that you're a fan in the background, I tell them that, so. Oh, I think we just got split up. Okay. Well, I see a corpse. Oh God, no. You're telling me behind me. Wait, I see your corpse. Behind you and the Alright, I see what's happening. I see my kid running around and hiding in a locker. 
I don't want to shoot it though. I'm hiding a lot. Oh! <laughs> I had the option to shoot it! <laughs> I see a dead kid! Hi! Hi! Very dead kid! <laughs> yeah! I apparently had a heart attack and fell on the floor. Alright. Well, this is my life now. <laughs> so, he probably would have shot the crap out of him. Probably. Because I saw, like, the kid come in the locker. And I had the option to stand. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't. Um, I I heard you say that you were in the locker, but I didn't register that you were on that that it was you in the locker. I was just seeing the kid. Did you see that thing on the screen? The shadow. I didn't see much, but just the shadow. Yeah. Yep. All right, so, uh... Oh wait, what happened to you? I died of a heart attack on the floor. I kinda curled up and fell through the water. Okay. Okay, so you saw what? You said you saw reflections? Because I, when I, I mentioned the fortune about my kid. Oh, I I, I okay. Thought I, I thought I saw reflections, but it was just uh, how shiny it was. Okay. Because uh, when uh, I mentioned about my kid, uh, I kept seeing like a kid, so uh, the kid in the picture running around. Okay. Yeah, I didn't see any hallucinations. My guy was just giving me weird looks. Okay. Where are you? Okay, uh, I'll switch. Um, can I pause? Yeah, I'll switch. I'll be back. Actually, no.
Yeah, no, actually, I still hear, like, the fan in your background ton. I say they're fan in your background, since I'm streaming, so... I have to re -mute you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, I am ready. Right. Yeah, we can probably get a chapter or two into, uh... Yeah, just... And then switch back. Yeah. Because at least we're now, we started. of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. And then they still have to make those choices. <laughs> those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish, or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions, or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? Sometimes you will be determining a story together, sometimes separately. What one does may not make complete sense to the other because we all have different perspectives. Hey, As he's actually, life, he's telling me because there's two of us. Matter. The choices you make we'll affect will each other. affect each other. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some. Hey, you're right. The two pictures are like the tones. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. It's a thing I remember or should I say, decisions before. that result in the okay. outcomes you would prefer? That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken. Or whatever mess you've made. Don't worry, Mr. Curator. We'll try our best not to screw it. Yeah, and shoot each other. Because <laughs> that means it's pretty cool where you can also affect the story. If then, like, we always can choose the reverse characters, and you see, and then you see what the heck I was hallucinating and whatnot. Hello, whoever you are. Oh, wait, was I Alex or were you Brad? Uh, you're Brad. I guess I'm Alex. I didn't choose. I am Brad's brother. I'm insecure, apparently. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Brad, Alex, innocence, and you're you're Brad. So you're innocent. Okay. We run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? Yeah. The water? Diving? Maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Okay, I think I, my game just synced up with yours properly. Okay. Dude, of course. Yeah? I'm like practically a dive master, man. But I gotta tell you, I'm tough. I had a choice, though. No you gotta do exactly what I said. Uh, now you're deciding. Cool. What? Cool, thanks man. Yeah, of course. You're my bro. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? 
So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. The little stuff, he says. Get jerk. <laughs> Dude, you know I'm not, like, the best around new people. Or whatever. Just shut up. Brad, you're not on this trip because you're my bro. I mean, you are my brother, but I mean like we're buddies, you know? Um, kinda. Just out here to fucking hang, cool out, and kick it. What the fuck are you talking about? Let's just kick it and be legends, man. All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Ooh. Sorry, I'm a little so snappy. I'm just positive or medical school would be That's your choice. You know? I chose to be positive. <laughs> Oh. That's why I didn't say anything during your thing. <laughs> yeah, I got gotcha. you. Must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? Got the trophy. Yep. Medium, bro. Right Same. What? Whatever that means. Yeah, doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Traits updated. Hey, so uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? This uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. Uh, about finishing med school? No, but. Nope, bigger decision. Kind of a, a really big, big decision. Choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. I'm assuming you can't see what I, I was looking at, right? Go with your gut. <laughs> okay, cool. Right? Well, no. Actually, yeah, I think it is better if we just don't mention it until after the decision. Hey. Julia, reckless. And then Conrad, relax, but pool hunting. Right, yeah, we could just stay quiet during the whole dialogue and not say what we're seeing. Okay. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, comrade. It's hey. Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! <laughs> feel like I already know you, I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me? <laughs> I hardly even knew you were gone. As a little girl, I always dreamed that one day a man would sweep me off my feet and tell me he hardly even knew I was gone. So, first dive, you and me? Well, I regret my decision immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. The whole reason we're out here is to spend time together. Well, I think it'll be perfect. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I'm assuming you're still talking because I'm seeing the truck. <laughs> yeah. Where's the old press bucket skipper anyway? Okay. Please. I'm guessing you were talking to the brother, right? And I was talking to um, my uh, girlfriend? Yeah. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but... Uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Uh, you're selling, I'm buying. Yeah. Can you, well this, this uh, can you tell Tan, since I saw muted, that after like a chapter or two, uh, we mentioned, we'll go back to Portland. So it says after chapter two, we'll join you back on Borderlands. <laughs> That's it. Get it all out. Uh, yeah. I guess you're seasick. <laughs> you uh, want to go down? Yeah. 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 And now you're Conrad, and I'm... What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. 
I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard Wait, of this. Wait, <laughs> Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. Oh, we did find a This is different. I'm just yeah, saying, if it gets too late, I know some you. nice places okay. where you can just take, you know, Alex, a nice dive. Come here. I think we got something. Brad did his homework. If he says a wreck's here, it's here. Right, I'm still playing as Alex. Okay, okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Ooh. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Uh, kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Cliff, we found a plane. Yeah? That looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, Wait a minute, it's not the same ship that we were just on in the beginning, was it? <laughs> well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Uh, it's a plane right now, I think. Okay. Wait, are you saying we shouldn't die? Uh, guys, look, I think sure. we gotta listen to our experienced beautiful smart and beautiful captain here on, if she says we should do things Connie, right please i didn't bring you on this trip to get laid wait what <laughs> <laughs> no 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 it's not I, I, i'm just saying she's right not because she's beautiful try, i mean buddy. she is beautiful <laughs> it's like a coincidence. i was just disappointed because i was talking more about the dive on my Look, end we paid for this dive generously we're diving the client but if anything goes wrong I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few... I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Right out. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro? Alright, so I'm still playing as Alice checking on... Okay. Hey, hey. Hi, sweetie. Almost got the gear good to go. Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad I'm idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Got a I'm talking to not some option people. That I, I don't need to. Seriously, where did she get off bitching about us? She's making a small fortune on this trip. Yeah, not that small. Rules are rules. I get it. But what's the big deal if nobody finds out? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think it's my All right, I'm gonna get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Oh, secret about Fliss. Oh. Hey, can you pick up that thing on the counter there? Yeah, I can. I picked up um her license plate Stay or license. Closer. Not plate. Did you pick up the same thing or? Yeah. What, okay. did, what did Alex say? I just, actually, I just missed it. Darn it! Uh, Connor thinks it's a little suspicious. Oh. Uh, you know, Wait, actually, can we talk to each other? I want to finish talking with You guys gotta respect that. Seems like Conrad's the only one who respects the hierarchy around here. Sorry about before. Everybody's just a little. We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience oh, do you have with these kind of dives? Okay. I'm still talking to Fliss right now. I've a couple wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but, you know, experience. If this is your hey, first you picture, unreported so. wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. It doesn't sound good. Come on. You see anyone else out here? Who's gonna know? We logged our route at the harbor. If someone sees it's been disturbed, it ain't gonna be hard to put two and two together. Alright, alright, please. 
You know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Alright, I just finished talking to everyone on top of the ship. Yeah, I'll be up as soon as I... Yeah, I'll head down um, below deck and then um... I wonder if I can talk to you. Because my objective was to talk to uh, Brad. Oh, I see the picture you're talking about. Oh. Is it... What did you see? A girl hiding in a shower? Did you see the same thing, or...? I've seen something about Brad under a bed. I didn't... Then he gets out. I didn't see that. So you saw a girl in a shower. Yeah, like she was hiding in the shower um, area, something. Oh yeah, there's a book back here that I think might be based on the next title. Okay. Wait. I uh, closet here. First, I'm gonna go in here. What's up? Oh, Alex is leaving. How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Oh, gotta talk to Alex. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Do more than that, just to screw up the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. Alright, I'll take a look where you were looking. Almost done checking these out. Fuck. Hey, Connie, how's it going? Oh, I see. The Shroud of Innocence. Was it the same book, or...? Can I...? Oh, okay. I wonder if we can talk to each other once you're done talking. Wonder what else she's hiding. Yeah. At least we can use it as a bargaining tool if she pulls any more goody two shoe bullshit on us. But my dad's lawyers would love to hear all about it. Everything's going all right, so you know, don't worry about it. Fliss knows what she's doing. Says the guy who just wants to get in her pants. All right, I'm gonna get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Great. They kick back. And, Wait, uh, what am I doing? Oh, I'm looking at the pictures on your tablet. Thing. I mean, I'm gonna like a great ape creep. Yeah, I got it. Gross. Hey, at least the monster. Still gross. A lot of rocks. Gotta talk to Fliss now. Oh, Captain, my Captain. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys hey, gotta guys, respect us. Thanks already. At least you showed me a little respect. Even if you're the only one in the group. Hey, I'm right here. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> Julia wants me to look at the rebreathers. Well, that's one way to put. Conrad, give me a hand. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead it gets totally reused. Then it reduces. Yes, I know what a rebreather is. On your way up. State of the art. Okay. Done. That's really cool though, like we had different conversations depending on our own traits, that's really cool. Whoa, 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 we grip beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know it. Okay, you little clownfishes. 
I'm gonna go see what the list is up to. You behave, Connie. I can just... I don't know what either are. I guess I'll take this. That seems more important than the other. I got the bang stick. Yeah, I forgot that about you. Ha uh ha. -huh. You ever have to use one? On a shark? Nope. Maybe we can fire it up again tonight for our private post dive special. Are you gonna bring your bang stick? <laughs> I mean, this cabin is gonna pop its portholes. <laughs> I mean, they're dating. Alright, since the cutscene's already passed for me, um, I took the bang stick for sharks, I guess, and Julia took the camera. Okay. Hi, welcome to the stream. Alex wants to do this dive, but... Jeez. <laughs> okay, so you're doing Julia, and I'm doing... You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Should be quiet for command. No, fresh in your cabin, boy. Still a no. Yeah, well a little bit. Dash and wing Until, like, after the fact. It's requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Uh, you're not sure. Sure. Why not? Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? Nah. You know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself, and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. It would be my singular pleasure to help you part with your money. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Oh, I'm playing as the captain. Ooh. <laughs> Let me look at my own license. What did I say? To Julia? Oh, you found a secret. I think uh, I have a radio up here that um, we can answer each other. Oh, I think I might have blocked it when I was picking up that secret. Am I looking at anything particular? Hey, you found another secret. I'm gonna go down below after I'm um, talking with everyone. Here, uh, try calling the radio again. Sure. Is 
is no longer in the cutscene. I heard you call, but let's see if I'll respond. Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia? How's it going down there? You found anything you should not be messing with? Okay, roger that. Yep. I'm gonna go talk to... Uh, oh, never mind. I was gonna talk to him, but I can't. Okay, I think I need to actually look in the ship's thing to make sure the ship's the top shape. So I'm gonna come down here. Oh, that's interesting. Fliss looks up the picture and nothing. Oh. The book with a shot was the shot of innocence, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's, it was the same regardless. So I'm thinking that's the prelude to the next game. Probably. Because if you can read the, ti the title, it's like, uh, I guess that's something about the Salem Witch Trials. Ah. Wait, this is another picture. Oh, I actually see something in this one. Why are you pointing a gun at me? <laughs> Why do I keep these around? Cut and run. So if you use the boat, some guy points the gun at you. Ooh. Oh, you paused it. Oops. <laughs> no, that's fine. Didn't even hit the pause button. All right, so I'm ready anyway. I think R1 is pause. Didn't know that. Oh, darn it! No, I wanted to read that. Whatever this is. Not really much else down here except for two things I don't want to do. Oh, okay. So it looks like Mrs. Dubois paid a loan for 24000 Jeez. Yours is such a CERN. Felicity Dubois. That's a lot of money. Jeez. Uh, is the ship down here is filled with life loads. Or not ship the plane. Okay. Oh right, you're doing the dive while I'm doing the boat. That's cool. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Hey. It's your vacation. You're allowed to over... Hey, Fliss! Look, there's a boat! Wait, what? What's that about? Who are you? That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? This feels off. Just be quiet and don't say anything stupid, okay? Who are you? <laughs> yeah, uh, the, an, an incoming vessel. Guys, you gotta keep back. We've got divers in the water. Wait, we got a premonition about, or I got a premonition about you. What do you think? Like, uh, ten bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Okay, Conrad, shut up. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. Shut up. <laughs> All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. You know what you were talking about before earlier. Let's go. 
Now! I guess they didn't need the money. You're an idiot. You are an idiot. What? They left, didn't they? That doesn't make you any less of an idiot. You got a funny way of saying thank you, Conrad. You're a piece of work, Conrad. I'm not all work. I'm a little play, too. Are you trying to flirt with me? Is it working? I don't even no. know what it is. <laughs> yeah, like, well, no. <laughs> if you think of something, I'll just be over here taking the view, flirting up a storm. Hashtag wink. Are you seeing this too, by the way? Nope. Okay. Okay, I think they're on their way back up. And I was getting used to it just being you and me. We need to light the grill. Oh, oh, pick me, pick me. You can call me Grill Capitan. You may light the grill, but I will never call you that. You're an idiot. <laughs> Oh, come on, Conrad. Son of a bitch. Put it out, put it out, put it out. <laughs> uh, damn, Fliss, I I'm sorry. <sighs> just... You know what? Just say it. I have other things to worry about. Alright, I think I just saved Julia from a horrible thing. Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's alright now. No, it's not. You're an idiot. <laughs> oh, money in the water, eh? There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. Air quotes with little. <laughs> so, why are you paying the ocean? A fishing boat came by and got damaged on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. They were being a little surly about it, so Conrad made it rain and they pissed off. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is... What'd you guys find? Well, you're an idiot. <laughs> I mean, it's huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just ears. shut up for like one second? I'm not. I'm playing Fliss. <laughs> Holy shit, dude, bro, congrats. Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. Here you go. I said yes. Hey. Right. He went to Jared. <laughs> Basically. Um, hi. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. Huh. And huh. Julia, the love yep. of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. He's an idiot. Or maybe <laughs> you'd say arrogant. Arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss. Strong, forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charm. That was my choice. So far. <laughs> yeah, that's, that was my choice. reassure <laughs> You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball... Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. Yeah, well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. 
I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Well then. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mr. Julia Smith? Great. Right. Do you know if there are chapters at all? Honestly, or? I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that Because we can end it here and swap over your aunt. So, before we do anything. We should talk about wedding plans. Eventually. Okay. Hey, dude. Also, no, let's cut kind of a common moment. Ah, yeah. shit. Sorry. Oh, that's cool. I actually tried to um, interrupt and then you just responded back to me. It was like, uh, dude. <laughs> Oh, did uh, Julie take pictures? Down there? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at them now. Uh, Alex took a picture. Oh, okay. I was totally right. Looks like I have to make a choice now. Got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Okay. So, well, whenever this cutscene oh, ever ends, is, then. Uh, you know, where the magic happens. On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can deal with children. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Okay, now that... Oh, wait, are we... Nope, okay. <laughs> Whenever we get back to our characters, then um, we can press start. Alright, now that everybody's here... Let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Congratulations again, dude. Seriously. Hang on, I hear something outside. Yeah, go for it. Hello again, Tan. We're gonna be swapping over soon after we find a place where we can actually pause and... Alright, just the guy on a really loud four-wheeler. No worries. Alright, I'm ready. I'm really happy for you guys. I can't believe I actually did it. You got the oh, you did, did it, didn't you? Oh, oh no, that's cute. Oh, uh... Okay, we're free. Can Wait, you just no. give us a moment here? Oh, I'll, I'll walk away. All right. Yeah, Why'd you do we're it free now? Die? I'm not. I, I'm still in there. I'm still in there. It's not that memorable. I have to hand it to you. Bopping the question on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. Never thought you were the settling type. I'm proud of you, bro. I couldn't have done it without such a good bro, bro. Bro. Just Wait, what stop, do you mean? Stop with the bro, bro. bro. <laughs> One, I'm not that sappy. And two, I was talking about med school. Still, we're over the top, bro. Stop it. So, a lot of bros, bro. We going again yep. tomorrow? Sign me up. Can't wait to see this sucker for myself. 
I'm gonna go find Julia. Alright. Um, nope, never mind. I'm still in this country. Uh, that conversation ended fast. Uh, yeah. And I'm trying to get one of those good things. Well, I mean, I, okay. I did. Uh, broke up with her, though. Just too much to handle. Women, right? <laughs> hmm, yeah, women. They exist. You're correct. They definitely exist. Especially the one you just broke up with. That one, for sure. Right here. I still have some buttons I was looking at on my screen because the cutscene triggered. Wait, who are you playing as? Right now? No resistance there. Julia. Alright, everyone. Okay. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So, what do you think, Adam? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, alright. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. Leave it anything else? Right here. This plane must have been shot down. You know what? Sure. Why not? Because uh, I don't know how long this is going to keep going. <laughs> yeah, because I that uh, I couldn't leave because it kept going back to back to back to back to back. Yeah, I mean, we can. If it pops us up at the f after that guy talks, then we haven't gone too far, at least. Yeah. And I don't mind redoing really some of these good. things again, because I kind of missed some of it while I was trying to figure out where's a good place to stop. Yeah. All I know, I am really enjoying this, because of the split, or the two different perspectives. Yeah, it looks fun. Yeah. Alright, Quentin, we're going to start heading over the borderline. 